us. So I'm at Beacon Park, what? Well, it's actually behind me. Uh, I got here hella early for the night market. I just left Eastern Market uh, Saturday, and you know, it was good, killed it, sold a lot of stuff. I know I'm wearing a hat again, bros. I mean, I went like a whole week without wearing a hat, trying to like undamage my hair, but today my shit was too wild, so I threw the hat on. But anyways, I'm out here, I'm not like too familiar with this part of the city. There isn't really shit over here. Um, but I'm trying to find some food. Um, I had to skip the fast food route trying to find a good place to eat. So let's see if I can accomplish that. But most of this shit over here is like closed down or like not open right now. I don't know why. But I don't know where the fuck the door is. Alright, so... I walked into two places and walked right the fuck back out. One place, I couldn't even find the front door. And when I found it, I was so frustrated because it wasn't clearly labeled. The shit was like half locked. That I was like, yo, fuck this place. And then the next space I went to, uh, I heard it was like cheap or whatever. So I was like, all right, cool, cheap. I like cheap. So I walk in, ain't nobody there. They got like some garbage bags over like some of the stools and shit. Come on, Detroit. And there's so much possibility here, man. Like renting some of these spaces down here is like next to free. Y'all can't be creative. Y'all ain't spending that much on your rent. Have some fucking pride in your business. I hate that. I'm starving. And now like, I don't know where I'm gonna eat, bros. I don't know where I'm gonna eat, bros. Oh, I guess I see you somewhere Found a location, stand by. All right, I ate. I forgot to film the food. I don't know if you guys care that much. Now I'm on my way back to the park where the event is. So Fernando just got here and uh, I'm gonna try to prank him. I'm just gonna try to walk up behind him and yell in his ear and see what happens. He's right there with the red hat. So let's see if I can sneak up behind him. So it wasn't exactly the response I was expecting, but I'm gonna get him one way or another. These customers are real excited. They're taking pictures with their shirts on over there. They're excited to get their clothes, man. Customers are excited about what they got, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, you know, hopefully you guys love their shirts. It's late as hell, I'm tired as hell, and I think I'm gonna start packing up so I can get out of here. Cause I gotta go to Eastern Market in like uh, five hours or some shit like that. Alright guys, so it's now Monday after all that stuff. I don't know how much I filmed of uh, like Easter Market, Beacon Park. I figured you guys were like kind of sick of seeing footage from there. But um, it's now Monday, uh, I think it's like the 14th, uh, B-Lo cut the check. And um, I have to go to the gas station, to the vet's office, um, to the P.O. box, to the embroidery office, uh, to this local print supply company that I had them make a couple screens for me because daddy ain't got no time To be uh, making screens and then I gotta go to the office. I gotta go to the gym I got a lot of stuff to do. So let's do it So I made it to the post office um, I'm gonna check the PO box. I'm not shipping any packages right now I'm just gonna check the PO box 
and see if you guys sent anything. Sometimes I get stuff, sometimes I don't. If you want your brand to be featured in this vlog, these videos, uh, send the product and then you know you know slide your boy a little something you know some candy or whatever your boy likes candy specifically my favorite candy on earth are those like cola bottle gummies that's like the best candy you could buy in the whole world uh so let's go check the p.o box All right, guys. So it turns out we do have a package. Um, so I'm just gonna open it up right here at the post office. And it is from a viewer. It's a uh, Regal and Royal clothing. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So let's get into this package. Uh, since I'm doing it one-handed. I already uh, pulled this adhesive, but I haven't looked at what's inside of it. I just didn't want to embarrass myself by battling that shit one-handed. So let's just dump it out, y'all. All right, here we go. We got all the best candies, y'all. Dots, Dots is the, is the shit. And we got Tootsie Rolls. I like the, the colored Tootsie Rolls. So, you know, you're winning me over a little bit. The car says, thank you. Damn, they got a, a greeting card and everything, bruh. And it's a dog. Shout out to the corgis. Let me read this off cam in case there's any, you know, information. You know, um. Okay, cool. So, it just says we're just starting out and appreciate all the feedback and support. Sincere, sincerely. Randall Regal and Royal Clothing um, and their Regal and Royal Clothing on Facebook and Instagram. You guys should go check them out. Um, all right, cool. All right, so let's let's get into the shirt, guys. Let's get into the shirt. Okay, so we got a. It's on a Gildan Dry Blend. If you guys don't know about Dry Blend, Dry Blend is um it's kind of like the thickness of their Ultra Cotton. Uh, so it's not super thin, but it's not super thick, but the dry blend is kind of like a more water moisturize or water water wicking product and uh, It's a cotton poly blend. So it's a 50 50 blend and we got the uh, foil print It's nice quality foil print too um, Wow, it looks crazy on the camera um, So let's see is there anything on the back of the shirt? Nope, it's just on the front it's a uh, white t-shirt with the gold foil, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, guys, a very simple shirt. This, I'm assuming this is kind of like their main logo. But yeah, not bad. They're just starting out. It's pretty solid design. Um, you know what I'm saying? This does kind of look like the Epion Royal font. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it doesn't matter. I, I didn't make the font. So that's tight, guys. I appreciate you guys sending this out is uh regal royal clothing uh thanks for sending the shirt out you know what i'm saying thank you for bribing me with this candy your boy loves candy and ramen noodles shouts out to the ramen noodle gang um if you guys want to be featured on this channel i'll feature anybody i really don't care i don't look at it as like competition i don't look at it as like like oh i'm not gonna give you free publicity like i really don't care if you guys want to send your your shirts out to me i'll gladly check them out show them off and uh plug you on the channel if you want um uh the p.o box is 806036 st Clair shores michigan 48080 and uh yeah send your stuff out and if you guys just want to send notes that's cool too i like notes i get notes every now and then i just don't uh like read them on the channel because uh it's like some people's shit is like private and like sad or whatever you know it's it's a note for me uh, unless they tell me to read it on the camera then i will uh, some people send other stuff like some companies send energy drinks some companies send other stuff so if you whether you're a personal like a, just a single person or a company uh send it out 
Uh, it should be linked below to the, the P.O. box information. But uh, yeah, let's get these backpacks to the embroidery office. Going on a walk in the middle of the woods. Well, this is actually a uh, River Bend's park, so it's not really the middle of the woods. I mean, it kind of is, but there's a paved sidewalk here. You know, uh, just ended Eastern Market Saturday. I'm not going to the night market tonight. I have other shit that I need to take care of that's more important, like walking this dog. What the fuck is up guys, it's your boy BZ, back again with another video, and I'm at the worst speedway in the motherfucking world, I don't know what, what town this is considered, I think it's Warren, the worst city in the world, the worst speedway in the world, and um, unfortunately this one, this one is just here man, I was driving by, you know what I'm saying, and I came to this one, and that's it. This is the worst speedway because all these factories and these these businesses and all this industrial shit, they all come to get gas here. Even the garbage truck comes to get gas from here. Bruh. Garbage truck, bro. Anyways, um, I went to Eastern Market Saturday. I did not go to Beacon Park on Saturday night. And I went to Eastern Market on Sunday. Uh, I gotta get back in the office today. Um, I'm just gonna film everything that happens. I'm gonna put this footage with the other footage that I had filmed from like days ago. And um, hey, don't run into my car, bro. Don't run into my shit, bro. It's your big goofy green ass. Anyway, um, so all the stuff that I filmed prior to today, I'm putting in this video. And so it's gonna be kind of like random footage and then like a traditional vlog and then who knows what else. Um, I got Jamie Thayer coming by the office. He's like a pro BMX rider that rides for up beyond Roy. He's one of my favorite humans on earth. And um, he's coming over. I'm giving him some free clothes because you know he needs some of the freshness, he needs some of the new shit. And then I'm also, we're also going to be sending some stickers to uh, one of his homies. Uh, I can't say who because I think he's like trying to surprise him with the, the decals. So we're gonna do that. And then um, uh, Stephanie is coming by. Stephanie's one of my homegirls. She actually sews all the tags onto my stuff. She's been sewing the tags on my stuff for a while. Your boy can't sew. I don't got the time to do it. And uh, you know, why not get somebody else to do something that's way better? She way better than I could ever be at doing the tags. She said she'll come through. Um, so she's gonna come by. And then I gotta ship orders. I gotta do everything. It's Monday, guys. All cylinders go. I'm at the gas station. I'm buying energy drinks. And I know what some of you guys might be saying. Oh, what about the 313 energy? What about the 313? Your boy's lazy. Well, I'm not fucking lazy, but I haven't prioritized reaching out to them and asking for more. Uh, I'll probably do that because my vision is I got that refrigerator in the office and I want to have a stack of um, energy drink cases, like just the whole case of energy drinks right next to the refrigerator. Um, that's like a dream in my old office the boys from dismember the fallen I traded them like a bunch of shirts for like a ton of rockstar because they used to have a connection at rockstar and I got like 30 cases of free rockstar energy drinks and I had this like big ass stack of them 
and it was incredible it looked awesome and people thought i was like way cooler than i really was so i want to do that with 313 energy drink uh hopefully they're cool hopefully they want to send me more whatever we're gonna put it in the videos if they do for right now i'm going in there i don't know if i'm getting monster or rockstar because oh, or red bull i don't know guys yesterday or uh, yeah yesterday at eastern market uh, I was outside and then this thing is rolling by me like a tumbleweed it, it like looked like some garbage like in Detroit There's just garbage blowing all over the place. So I didn't really think much of it, but um, It was rolling by me and then I caught a glimpse of it and it was like the perfect shade of money green so I was like Stepped on that motherfucker So I stepped on it and then I picked it up and it was a $20 bill so I have the remnants of the $20 bill um, in my wallet right now. I'm going to go blow that on some caffeine. We're going to head to the HQ. I'm taking you guys along. I'm filming as much as I can. If you don't like the video, you can take your cell phone, shine it up real nice, and then stick it straight up your candy ass. Red Bull, cut the check, bro. Red Bull, cut the check. Cut the check. Cut the check, for real. Fuck these athletes. Give me the check. Give it to me. Your boy. Captain B. Wrinkled shirt bees and what up? Just shipped off the packages, and today, Apparently, there's supposed to be a solar eclipse. Now, as you guys know, I can't really film a solar eclipse. Um, is it a lunar eclipse? Solar eclipse? I don't know. There's an eclipse today. I don't know the difference. So, um, everybody's talking about it. Like, all these Michigan folk. Like, this is the most exciting thing that's happened to them all year. Um, I mean, I'm curious to see what it looks like. Apparently, it's, it happens like once in a lifetime, or I don't know, man. I'm going based on like recycled information from other people, so I don't know exactly what's going on, but it should be interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. And people want to ask why I like Chipotle so much. Bon, 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 bon. Two tortillas. Big ass burrito. Listen to this, yo. You know how much this costs? Like $7 for all of this. Um. I fell asleep, so I can't even walk right now. <laughs> but Jamie Thayer came by the office. What up? Uh, he got a bunch of shirts. Got one for his mom. You know? Uh, we talked a little bit. We caught up. This guy been at Woodward for the longest time. If you want to see any of the stuff that he's posted from Woodward, uh, go to his Instagram. What's your Instagram? Just Jamie Thayer. At Jamie Thayer, yep. At Jamie Thayer. And you can go to the Epion Road one. I've shared some of his pictures, too. Uh, go follow him, because he's the man. He's better at BMX than all you don't care, you guys. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's like 12 in the morning right now, and Stephanie just left. She helped me tag all of those shirts. I folded them. I still have to package them and put um, our hang tags on them. Let me hold the phone like that. There we go. So, 
Um, <clears throat> Jamie Thayer came by, as you saw, and I hooked him up with a bunch of the new products. And, um, yeah, it's late as hell. I'm in the office. Uh, I got a lot of stuff done, but I never feel like I get as much done as I'd actually like to get accomplished. It's cool, whatever. I mean, I have, like, this insatiable desire to accomplish goals. And, you know, it's like every day. I feel like even if I was, like, a millionaire, I'd still be disappointed and, like, not content. So I'm going to shake this shit up. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to get my swole on. And uh, might come back. So, But I'm not going to film at the gym. Uh, it's kind of weird. And people are weird. And uh, girls don't want to be. I think if you're a guy at the gym with your camera phone out pointed in any type of horizontal direction, people will automatically assume that you're recording them. So yeah, I'm going to make this, go to the gym, drink this, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll go see boss, go to bed, maybe I'll come back and get more work done. Let's go. pretty comparable. A little bit more um, needed to depress these versus a little bit more action uh, or a little less action I guess rather on this program. So I'm in the office and I got these LED strips on the back of the TV. This thing is like the radio so you the remote control or whatever can work. Um, and there's the mount. I put it up pretty hard because I need this area for working so I figure it's a TV even though it's not that big of a TV. If it's higher up, then I can use like this whole wall space for working area. But the problem is, I don't have a Phillips head screwdriver um, to take this stupid base plate off. So I'm trying to get Bilo to come out and bring one to me. And Bilo lives like real close to the office, so I'm trying to con him to come out, bring a screwdriver, so I could take that off. Put this boy on the wall and you know up the vibe game in here a little bit and then when guests come out they can play video games and have fun. Yo, what the fuck is up, bruh? Bruh!